she is a beauty mogul and New York Times best-selling author who's always ready to stick up for herself, even with an espresso martini in hand. From the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, our girl Heather Gay is here. Hi, Heather. Hi. Thanks You're gorgeous. Me, it is way. so good to see you. What an amazing season. All right, so you recently filmed the reunion. I know you can't say anything, but tell me who spent the most time in the hot seat and how was the reunion? Ooh. Reunion was intense. And we all spent a little bit of time in the hot seat. Okay. But as you know, when you sit first chair, you get hit with a lot of heavy questions. So definitely, I think Monica would have the hot seat this year. Okay. Okay, so Monica's in the first chair. Sure. Who's on the other side? Because that means that those that two people... That would be me. Oh! oh! You know, and I was in the hot seat a little bit as well. So, yeah. do they ever tell you, by the way, like that you're going to be in the first seat, or do you find do out the morning? Do not watch the show. They do not tell us. They walk. They walk us out, and then they place you, and then you know. By the way, every housewife Zero knows that. Zero prep. Zero prep. Now, Meg Thee Stallion recently went on IG Live and said that she was such a fan of the show. I gotta know, was there any other celebrities who surprised you that they watched Salt Lake City? I'm always surprised at how far-reaching Housewives are, and Salt Lake City in general, but I do get um, DMs from Sarah Paulson, who is, like, <gasps> the queen of all, and, I, and she tells me when she loves an episode, and I know she has been inspired by Meredith for some of her characters on Broadway. We all have been inspired yeah, by we've Meredith We've all been Moss. inspired by Meredith. So, yeah, that's been something fun for me, for sure. You can leave! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Megan, Meg is a fan of Monica. You are not a fan of Monica at the moment, and there was a lot of legal drama. I have a theory that she just came in thinking because you we were friends it was a freebie. What is the latest with that? Well, she was a customer at Beauty Lab years ago, and the case has been like, the reason it's been active now is because it just, the press picked it up. But it wasn't really a, I mean, I can't speak a lot about it yeah. legally, but essentially she was a customer years ago. And I think we have a saying at Beauty Lab, everybody is VIP at Beauty Lab. Just because you're on TV doesn't mean we're not going to pursue unpaid yeah. bills. Wow. Now, you said that you would never film with Monica again. And apparently, we're hearing she didn't leave on good terms with anyone from the reunion. Do you think she will still have a future on the show? I mean, there is a lot to come. There is so much to come with Housewives. I mean, and everyone says it's a great season, but there's more happening. And right now, I am not friends with Monica, and it's a show that we film with our friends. And with the legal battle going on and the way that we left things at reunion, you know, we're not friends right now, and I don't see us making amends. Woo! Girl! <sighs> it is hot. Nice. All right. Um, Whitney, your relationship with Whitney has been up and down and up and down. Um, we want to take a quick look at one of those downs. That's happening on next week's episode. Take a look. Okay. I guess you had a conversation with Heather where I'm self-absorbing. You're helping me be a better person. What are you talking you about? You said that you have really hard conversations with Lisa. Lisa. And for you to even sit there Heather, and say the f up. I mean, why is it that you can't make up and just stay made up, Heather? Because Whitney and I fight hard. We fight like family. So we have a lot more latitude with each other. It's unfiltered friendship. Yes. And we, you know, that's not the worst fight we had. So stay tuned. Ooh. I love that. The look on your face. Yeah. We were... <laughs> the we're not going back there, are yeah. we? But no. we, might, we might have gone back there. Okay. I always wonder, you see the ups and downs on this show. They seem exhausting. Do you ever see the day where you're like, you know what, I'm gonna hang this up. I cannot c carry this snowflake anymore. I mean, if you could understand the way that this has completely changed my life, like who I was five years ago versus the life I have now, and the fact that I have three daughters that I want to inspire and tell them to say yes to everything. I will never say no to any opportunity. And the harder it gets, the more I dig in. I love that. So I, you know, I've had some hard times on this show, but I love it. I love the community. I love these opportunities. And so I'm here. You're going to have to boot me out. <laughs> I love that. Snowflake forever. Well, this season has been full of friendship breakups and friendship makeups. So we're going to get your little hot take on some of the drama okay. from this season with a round of Snowflake Showdown. Are you ready, Heather? Mm. Ready? Should I look here? Yeah. Yes. Okay. 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 Monica and Lisa's instantly iconic fight during Whitney's sound bath event. Lisa said Monica didn't treat her mother nicely, and Monica said Lisa likes her minions. Who was right? Uh, Lisa, 100%. Mm. Okay, next. Whitney and Lisa also got into it after Whitney said that Lisa was triggered by Monica's friendship with Angie. Who was right? Um, I think that Lisa is triggered by 
Angie's lack of loyalty. So I'm going to have to go with Lisa on this one. Okay. okay. Well, she's disagreed with Lisa twice in a row. Which I don't, is... I'm here for it. Yeah. Mary and Whitney's <laughs> attempts at making up at their dinner date ended with Mary storming off, claiming that Whitney was wasting her time. But I feel like she got it to go back. Who was right? I mean, Whitney was the powerhouse in this situation. Support my cousin. That was a tough convo to sit through, but she did it. Mm. Okay, Angie K crashed the Palm Springs trip that Meredith planned, despite Meredith specifically not inviting her. Who was right? Uh, Angie K should not have crashed. Not I have agree crashed. with you, you on don't that. Crash. That's very you never rude. Crash. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you, Heather. You're the queen. The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City airs Tuesdays on Bravo.